Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. Road. Continue 30 kilometers on Rainbow Beach Road. So we are at Inskip Point. It's about 11 k's north of Rainbow Beach. It's stunningly beautiful. That's Fraser Island you can see there in the background. We were going to stay for five days. Pretty sure Ed's going to have to drag me screaming out of here and we'll be staying for 10. So, at the end of this video, we're going to show you around through each of the campgrounds as we had a little bit of trouble picking which ones were sandy and which ones weren't. So we've done a drive-through through each camp and they'll be at the end of the video. Make sure you check them out. Inskip Point has been on my bucket list for years. I didn't really know it was this beautiful. I'm not sure what I expected, but it was stunning. So we're fishing at Inskip Point and it really does not get any better than this. I gotta tell you, happy as Mr. Ed. Clear blue and turquoise water. It seems a lot of people are in the know as this whole point has a massive campgrounds the whole way along it. It is also one of the main entry points by barge to Karari or Fraser Island. The point is a narrow sandy point and forms a protection barrier for Tin Cam Bay Inlet and the Great Sandy Strait. The point is covered in cypress pines and she oaks. The campgrounds run the length of the point and when fully housed hold about 1100 campers. So make sure you book early. It costs $7 per person or $14 a night for us. There was little to no internet, one bar of 3G, and little to none phone service. We put up our antenna and we got two bars of 4G. Happy campers. The road from Rainbow Beach to the campgrounds is all sealed. The area is also known for its landslides and sinkholes. If you're worried about that, book back from the beachside campgrounds. We tried our hand at fishing most days, but failed to catch anything to brag about, but one must try. We stayed at MV Sarawak. We have a 21 foot 6 caravan, so we parked on the side of the road and walked in first to find a spot, and checked out how sandy the grounds were. We chose a spot where our solar would be in the sun for at least half the day, and shaded in the afternoon. MV Sarawak was pretty hard in most areas but we did drive in the exit so we could back in easily into our site. Then it was a short walk to the beach and toilets. This campgrounds held 250 people and had three sets of toilets spread out along the grounds. There is no power or water. The next stop was to Inskip Point to check out the vans and cars getting to the barge. I'm not sure if you've seen the Facebook page, I got bogged on Inskip Point. When we arrived, there was a four-wheel drive bogged in the entrance. One caravan and a four-wheel drive bogged about 50 metres out across the point. And a car full of backpackers in a small hatch up to their axles in it. Even after a lady had said to them, please don't drive out there, that's not a four-wheel drive. They still did.
up the pride. We did a few trips into Rainbow Beach, packed a picnic lunch and found a picnic table at the park overlooking the beach. It was low tide at the time so we decided to do a beach drive. Rainbow Beach in all its glory. We're standing at Rainbow Beach and it is stunningly beautiful and we're going to take you for a drive down there to look at the coloured sands. The coloured cliffs tower above the car and there were so many hand gliders up on the cliffs above. You can only go as far as Middle Rocks or you will need to grab a permit. You can get them from the tackle store in town at $26 for the day. We got back to camp at a reasonable time, so we decided it was roast pork night. Yummo. It took a couple of hours to cook, and I picked at the crackle and got in trouble. Had some roast veggies, made up some gravy. Is there anything better? I say nope. I dragged my chair and coffee to the beach every morning and when Ed gets his bones out of bed, he brings his brekkie down and joins me. It's a pretty busy channel being at the end of Karak. How do you say the name of that island? Carrie. Kagari. And the dolphins turned up a couple of times and hung around for about an hour or so. After about four days, the weather turned and it got stormy and really windy. Then it rained for a few days. But finally it broke after about two or three days and we headed to town for supplies. Filled up our water jugs and emptied the toilet. You'll find this site on the road to Inskip Point. There are bins at all of the camps at Inskip Point. So they've got garbage bins, so you don't have to take your stuff into town. And someone even left the kitchen sink. On Saturday and Sunday, both morning and afternoon, the Iceman comes. He has a coffee machine on board and other things for sale, such as ice, wood, bread. Keep an eye out for him. The coffee was delicious. So we thought we would get all of Inskip Point in one video, but it's going to be two. See you next week at Inskip Point.